Welcome everyone back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a quick Trailmaker tutorial actually with the new Spacebound update. So picture this, you've just created your newest craft but even if it has quantum rudders um, it still doesn't stop very well. As you can see my speed is not decelerating very quickly and it's pretty easy to be moving diagonally in a direction that I do not want to. So that's why this is going to be a tutorial on making inertia dampeners which are or which is a system that activates engines if you're moving in a direction that you do not want to be moving so you're gonna need a couple things for this um, first of all you're going to need of course a ship and then you're going to need um, thrusters pointed in basically every direction that don't have any controls as you can see this one doesn't have a control, that's because I'm going to use it for the system. So those these ones and these sideways ones. First things you're going to need, um, I'm going to do forward and back first, so you're going to need a speed sensor and a XOR gate. So this speed sensor is going to be facing forward since we're going to slow us down moving forward. So first we've got to go into the speed sensor and make sure the speed is at zero. And then we got to... Right, this doesn't work if it's not connected. And you have to um, plug the speed sensor into the XOR gate, so it's activating that. And then because my space key is me moving forward, and I'm trying to stop myself moving forward, I'm going to have the XOR gate in this green slot as space. So now, this won't work if I'm going, if I'm pressing space, so I can keep accelerating. Now, I'm going to put this inside my ship, somewhere. Now that's inside my ship, I've just gotta, you have to select the X or gate. Okay, oh. You have to select the X or gate. Have it configured, of course, and then all the engines you want to use to slow you down, you're going to want to have them triggered. Sync these ones, too. Yeah. So, you know, the heavier your craft is, th if you use, like, just one of these space thrusters, the heavier your craft is the faster, or no, the slower it's going to slow down with the less amount of thrusters. So if you have a big heavy craft like this, I'd recommend having lots of thrusters facing back forward to slow you down even faster. And of course you would want to save this. And now, moving forward, as you can see, the thrusters are off. But once I stop, they turn on, and I decelerate much more rapidly. Of course, this is a very heavy craft, so it's not going to decelerate all that fast, but it will still decelerate. And then, with enough of these, you can actually manage to get your craft perfectly stable and not moving at all. Another thing you may want to consider is where the thrusters actually are. It doesn't really matter if they're on the inside of your craft, as long as there's an equal amount of them on the right and left side, so you don't have yaw that you do not want. But, if they're too below or above your center of mass, they will have random pitch. Usually this can be fixed with just a few gyros, and you're going to have to use, use manual intervention. I'll give you an example here, because I'm pretty sure this one does have it. Yep, slightly pitching down, so you might have to tap S or W a little bit, or just move around your thrusters and add some more. Now I'm going to do with backwards. I doubt I'd be moving backwards very much, so I'm not going to have very many thrusters plugged into it. So what you want to do is basically just copy this and then rotate it so the little intake part of the speed sensor is facing backwards. And then more importantly, you're going to go into the speed sensor and make sure that it's not plugged into any of the other XOR gates. Because that, that is a very common mistake people do is because it copied it over it also copied over the logic it was plugged into so it's going to also be plugged into the engines and XOR gate so you're going to want to go into this XOR gate and disable all these other engines as well to prevent this all you really have to do is just do the entire process again but it really depends on what you'd rather do 
and then of course you want to go into here if your craft has reverse you're just going to set the screen button to the reverse key in this case for me it's left control and then you want to set it to all of your backward facing thrusters that do not have a key bind the reason why it's important to make sure they don't have a key bind is so your thrusters aren't accidentally active while you're trying to move forward slowing you down and then I thought I had a few others no not those I guess not nope there's some let's just thrust you, let's just thrust you wait hold on those are facing that way so actually for those I'd have you would done As you can see here, moving forward, I decelerate forward, and then I'll move backward, and then stop moving backward, I decelerate backward. Cool. Now usually forward and back is usually your most important, mostly just forward. So if you have a quantum rudder craft like this one, it usually isn't too important because it already has its own kind of drag. I would recommend still having a little bit of... Uh, backward inertia dampening so that way you can really just sit here perfectly stable without having to worry about accidentally strafing a little bit backwards or or forward so usually forward is all you ever need but for more stable and precise craft you may have strafing that you want to worry about which is left and right so this is why I have all these thrusters here and to do that it's basically the same thing as the others where you have a speed sensor facing in the direction that you don't want to go an XOR gate speed sensor is set to zero kilometers per hour it's plugged into this XOR gate this XOR gate is to whatever strafing key you have if you do not have a key to strafe you actually don't even need the XOR gate I don't so I'm not even gonna have it and then of course because I'm moving in that direction I would never want to be moving in that direction, so all of you are going to be active, since none of you have any other purpose. And just remember, any of the thrusters you're plugging into, do not forget to make sure they do not have a keybind. Because if they do, then they will um, either be active when you don't want them to, or it could interfere with the inertia dampening. Now my left and right dampening is in place. I'll save, and then now, as you can see, those are active, keeping me perfectly stable. So I will no longer move left or right if I don't want to. As you can see, if I kind of yaw this way, it starts slowing me down in that direction. Of course, these aren't very effective because it's very a very heavy craft and it doesn't have very many or very much um, dampening thrusters so keep remembering that if you have a larger heavy craft you may need more thrusters which is going to increase your complexity and power core limit and then finally one of the another important one for very preciseness is up and down of course same as last time if you have a up and down key to move yourself up and down have an XOR gate so they aren't actives while you're trying to move up and down. I don't, so I'm just going to set that to zero and then turn all of these on. <laughs> That's the right one, right? I have one up here in my nose. I'm just going to make sure it's the correct one. No, it is not. Cool. So, nope. It's gotta switch this. I don't have very much up and down control, so it isn't. It's more of a non crucial one, or really, if you just want to be 
very stable in a certain position. It's really useful for, like, cargo craft, where you need to be stable to uh, have cargo deployed. Or I'd also recommend it if it's a non-quantum rudder craft, if you have a thing going on where you can't use a quantum rudder, then I'd highly recommend using these since it allows you to actually slow down in space. Of course, though the up, down, and left, right strafe dampening isn't very important, I'd still recommend it since it does allow you to come to a perfect stop without having to rotate your vehicle at all. Because it is fairly common that you have to rotate your vehicle so your back engines are actually pointing in the direction that you're moving if you do not have left, right, and up and down. And now that all these are in place, it um, is, should be very easy to stay stable and, of course, stop what I didn't want to stop. Of course, um, my up and down dampening is not really helping me here because, as you know, the, there's a couple engines very far in the nose, which there are not very many back here, so... But as you can see, I'm moving... Basically, I'm basically not even moving anymore. So I'm perfectly stable in space, and you can attack all of your enemies. Hope this helped you out. If you have any more questions or concerns, please leave it in the comment below so I can hopefully help. And I'm going to fix this, because it's very unstable. Have a nice day.